All right, I'm just gonna do a basic 4X introduction video. So here's a list of all the major 4X pairs. Um, there's actually a lot more than these, but uh, some of them, some of the pairings, they're called exotic pairings. So they're like, they'd be like very small countries currencies and you don't really trade those. Um, you can, there's certain exchanges that allow you to, but the uh, the fees, the spread on them, the fees that the exchange will charge are much higher on the uh, the pairs that are uh, more exotic or not, the currencies that are not as big. So here's like the main, the main ones, Aust the Australian pairs, Australian dollar pairs. You see they're, it's paired with a Canadian S Swiss franc uh, Japanese yen, New Zealand dollar, and the U.S. dollar. So those are the pairings. If we go to my charts, uh, here's the list of the either crypto or or forex pairs that I that I watch, and I'm mainly watching the the main ones. So like the, the Euro USD, for example. This is the. Uh, this is probably the, the the main pairing, the most, the biggest pairing, because uh, the euro and the USD are the two top currencies, pretty much. And then you got the Japanese yen. That's probably the next biggest currency. The Great British Pound currency pairs, and then uh, some of like the New Zealand dollar, the Canadian dollar, and the Swiss franc. So those are the top. Those are the top pairs that that I trade and that uh, most of the market is probably looking at. So we'll just we'll use this one. So here's how it works. So you, you put your cash on the exchange. So when you put your money on the exchange, it's held in U.S. dollars. Uh, so nothing. It's just going to stay in U.S. dollars the whole time. So it's not your your account's not going to fluctuate until you enter a trade. Uh, whereas crypto, for example, a lot of the exchanges, you have to trade with Bitcoin, which means you have to hold Bitcoin on the exchange to even trade. So if Bitcoin starts going down, your account, you may be losing money, just not even trading, just holding, just holding the Bitcoin. Uh, there are, uh, the, the exchange I use does have a USD pairing, but the, the crypto exchanges are very unregulated and much harder to use than the forex exchanges because they're not regulated and they're just they're very sketchy in general but i prefer to always have a usd pairing because i don't want to just hold bitcoin just to hold bitcoin and then lose money doing nothing but i need money on the exchange in case i spot a trade i have to be able to trade right away i can't like always be moving money back and forth it just takes it's just too time consuming <clears throat> so here's the euro usd so the first currency in the pair, if this chart goes up, that means that the euro is is a uh, stronger than the dollar. So for so here, you see these green candles. This price is pushing pushing up. So the euro, the euro gained value in comparison to the U.S. dollar. And then inverse, if it's going down the US dollar is gaining value compared to the euro so I can sh I can buy I can go long or short I can buy or sell this pair so if I let's say it comes up here and I sh and I shorted it I'm essentially buying the USD compared to the euro or or I'm sh or I'm selling the US U the, I'm selling the euro compared to the USD so I'm sh I can short I can go long or short this specific pairing now that's that's what I was saying is it is a little confusing because I'm entering a trade and it's it's not necessarily that the euro is strong in gen overall it could be or it may not be but all that matters is that the euro is stronger or weaker it's specifically in comparison to the US dollar. 
So that's that's why Forex gives a lot of opportunities to trade because there's all of these different currency pairings all the time. And it, the, the market runs five days a week and it's open 24 hours a day. It closes Friday at 4 p.m. and then reopens Sunday at 4 p.m. <clears throat> so that's kind of the interesting thing. And when I when I get out of the trade, it goes straight back into U.S. dollars. So my, my account is always held in U.S. dollars. So that's kind of the interesting thing about Forex is that it's not necessarily one currency is strong or one currency is weak, but it's it's always in comparison to two specific currencies. So that's what I that's why I say it. This the forex market is a tool that people use to trade. But everyone is forced. Like if you live in Europe, you're forced to hold the the euro. So funny enough, you're actually you're actually making a trade. You're actually kind of making a trade just by hold just by holding whatever currency you have. But I mean, the it, it's it's kind of hard to say. It's kind of hard to say like how the values fluctuate if you're just holding the currency, as compared to actually trading a specific pairing. So that that's why I, I kind of say it gets a little, it gets a little confusing. So then, so some other basic things like this is the dollar index. So the dollar index is the dollar compared to six other major currencies, and I'll just I'll just look at the. Dollar index currency pairs. Uh, let's see. Let's see if this. Um, I should have figured this out before I started the video. I know the euro is at the top, and then the yen is number two. I just need a list of it, so I don't. Okay, so here, here's the here's the dollar index. It's so this is the U.S. dollar compared to the euro, the yen, the British pound, the Canadian dollar, Swedish krona, and the Swiss franc. So. For example, the the Swiss franc and the Swedish krona, we don't really care about that on the, when we're looking at this index because it's such a small weight. It's a it's such a small weighted uh, weight of the uh, index itself. Fifty seven percent is the euro, so it's very very strongly correla correlated to the strength of the euro and the and the weakness of the euro. And then the second highest is the yen. The third highest is the Great British Pound. So generally, we are looking at for the Euro and the Yen and the Great British Pound when we're looking at the index. So, so that's an important thing because you have the index, you always are keeping an eye on the index, especially when you're trading any pairing, any USD pairs. So that, that's, that's an interesting thing too. And also the, the stock market. Um, there's there's lots of pair there's lots of correlations with d with different markets affecting uh, different currencies, but I can I can go over another video on that. That's just that's just the basics. So yeah, that's that's the basics of the uh, of the forex market and how you can trade it uh, to make money. I mean we're not going over any strategies or anything, but that's just the that's just basically how it works. You, you're able to short, you're able to go short or go long on on dozens of different currency pairs. So that it gives you a lot of opportunity, and uh, it's the same in crypto too. Most, a lot of the pairings are, are are paired in Bitcoin. However, I use an exchange that offers USD pairings, which is b better for me because I don't have the exposure to the market uh, if I'm not trading. So I can just hold my my funds in USD and then wait for a trade, and then I can enter a trade and then get out and trade and get out in USD. So that's yeah. That's it. Cool. If you have any questions, I can make another video.